Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics for You. In this video, I am going to explain Thevenin's theorem. Basically, Thevenin's theorem is one of the most widely used theorem which is used for the simplification of the circuit. Here is the statement for the Thevenin's theorem. In any linear circuit containing several voltages and resistances can be replaced by just one single voltage in series with a single resistance connected across the load. It means that we can replace any electrical network but that network should be a linear one. We can replace any linear network by a series resistance with the load and a constant voltage source. A linear electrical network containing several EMF can be replaced by a voltage source, a series resistance and the load resistance. Here this uh, circuit on the right hand side is Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Here is the procedure for the Thevenin's, uh, uh, here is the procedure to solve a problem by using a Thevenin's theorem. Step 1. Here we have to find the Thevenin's voltage source. We name it as VTH. And the procedure is we have to remove the load resistor and uh, definitely if we remove the load resistance it will be open circuit and we will measure the voltage at that particular point and this voltage is called as VTH that is Thevenin's equivalent voltage. Then in step 2 we have to find the Thevenin's equivalent resistance it is it is it is called as RTH and uh, while while, uh, while finding the, uh, RTH, we have to remove the load register. Then, uh, in between this load register, we will measure the RTH. But while measuring the RTH, we have to remove the voltage source uh, uh, by short circuit and current source by open circuit. Then, in step three, we will draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Definitely uh, Thevenin's equivalent circuit is one where the voltage source that is Thevenin's equivalent voltage source is in series with Thevenin's resistance and this will be in series with the load resistance. And in step 4 we will find the voltage or current for the load register. So this is the procedure for the Thevenin's theorem. Let us see uh, the example of Thevenin's theorem. Here in this circuit we have to find the current I flowing through this 2 ohm resistance. So as per the procedure what uh, we have to do? F uh, first we have to remove the RL and then we will find the VTH. So this is our original circuit which is on the left hand side and on the right hand side this is the changed in uh, this is this is the change that we have done uh, here we have removed the rl you can see the lo load register why why it is load register because we have to find the current flowing through th through this 2 ohm resistance so we have removed this 2 ohm resistance and we will measure the voltage at this point and this is VTH. Let us find the VTH here. To find VTH, we have to apply the KVL here. So, uh, to apply the KVL, let us consider the current flowing is I and let it be in clockwise direction. So, here it will be current entering point, this is current leaving current entering should be taken as positive and current leaving should be taken as negative. So if we apply the KVL here it is positive 2 volt then the second sign of this is minus so minus 1 multiplied by I 
then the second sign of this 3 ohm resistors is also negative so minus 3 into the current flowing is i and the last is second sign of this 1 volt supply is also negative so minus 1 and equal to 0 if we simplify it we will get i is equals to 0 0.25 ampere Here we have to find VTH. So VTH will be equal to this. VTH means it is the voltage between these two nodes that is node A and node B. So VTH is equals to if we move from B to A in uh, clockwise direction we are having this two volt supply here. So it is 2 then minus 1 into the current current value is 0 0.25 ampere and therefore we will get vth as 1.75 volt or other way is to find this uh, vth is uh, if we move in uh, anti clockwise direction we are having VTH equal to 1 volt that is positive sign of 1 volt then plus 3 multiplied by 0 0.25 definitely again it is equals to 1.75 volt so in both way we can find VTH and it is equals to 1.75 volt now next step is to find RTH here to find RTH uh, we have to remove the voltage sources and current sources the voltage sources are replaced by short circuit here so we were having only voltage sources and they are replaced by short circuit if the current source is there we have to replace it by the open circuit now uh, for this again we have to find the RTH and RTH is the resistance measured between terminal A and B. You can see that uh, this 1 ohm resistance is connected in between this terminal A and B. Similarly, this 3 ohm resistance is also connected in between A and B. So, we can say that these two resistances are in parallel and therefore, here the RTH that is Thevenin's equivalent resistance is equal to parallel combination of 1 and 3 ohm so 1 multiplied by 3 divided by 1 plus 3 if we solve it it is definitely equal to 3 upon 4 which is equal to 0 0.75 0 0.75 ohm so, RTH is 0 0.75 ohm. Now, next step is to draw the Thevenin's equivalent resistor, uh, equivalent circuit. Thevenin, in uh, Thevenin's equivalent uh, circuit, we are having VTH, we are having RTH, these two are in series with the load resistance. Here, we have to uh, replace our load resistor. Now, the load resistor was having value 2 ohm then RTH that we have calculated uh, it is equal to 0 0.75 ohm and VTH which is also calculated it is equal to 1.75 ohm now uh, last step is to calculate the current flowing through the load register if you want to find the current flowing through load register uh, here uh, the simple formula is uh, V divided by R that is Ohm's law but R is this RTH is in series with RL therefore our formula to calculate the load register uh, sorry load current will be equal to VTH divided by RTH plus RL if we simply put the value of uh, VTH it is equal to 1.75 then RTH it is 0 0.75 ohm 
and RL is having value of 2 ohm. If we simplify, if we solve this, uh, then we will get IL equal to 0 0.63 63 ampere. It means that the current flowing through the 2 ohm resistance is 0 0.6363 ampere. If we uh, have to, we want to verify uh, the current flowing through 2 ohm resistance, then we can apply uh, either KVL or uh, Maxwell's loop method to our original circuit and we can find the current flowing through the 2 ohm resistance and definitely it will be equal to 0 0.6363 ampere. Now, if the Thevenin's theorem and we have to apply it for the AC circuit, then what will happen? So, uh, for the Thevenin's theorem for AC circuit, we can replace the resistances by impedances and the current and voltage phasors. Here, one should note that uh, the reactance is actually depend on the frequency. Therefore, uh, Thevenin's theorem can be apply uh, uh, is applicable for the network which is having a fixed frequency and it is not applicable for the variable frequency and here is the equivalent circuit for the AC. Again, uh, elect an electrical network having several sources and impedances here the actually load resistance is replaced by the impedance and uh, you can see here VTH that is uh, also equal to uh, VTH is the AC source and uh, it is in series with the ZTH that is Thevenin's equivalent impedance and ZL that is the Z load impedance. So, uh, basically what we have done? We have just replaced the resistances by impedances and the uh, simple voltage source by the voltage or current phasors. Thank you.